What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Movie X Hicks, and this is going to be the review of Demon Slayer Mugen Train coming up right after this. Now, Demon Slayer has was literally the breakout hit of 2019 with probably one of the most critically acclaimed shows that we've seen in a while. You know, for so much time, it's been like Dragon Ball Z, Attack on Titan. You know, like those are kind of been going like back and forth for like number one hits for anime. And then this kind of newcomer just came out of nowhere and took everything by storm. I've never really seen a hype behind a new show that, that was brand new and that everyone just kind of like every episode, like it just kept getting like better and better and better and like more more people that kept watching and watching and it was just probably one of the also better animes of 2019 or really just in general like everything about uh, the demon slayer saga is just kind of amazing you know the the story the the outline of the characters the action the suspense like everything about the anime kind of comes together and it's like kind of like a perfect story if you will so and this is going to be the review of the movie, but it's also going to be, like, this movie has literally, I think, going to change the game of anime, only because we all know, like, uh, like, My Hero Academia, um, uh, My Hero Academia, um, uh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, those are, like, one of the, the top anime, anime TV shows that are coming out, and they have their own movies but their movies never coincide with oh, any anyway, never no movies ever coincide with the main plot but i think Mugen train is going to kind of change the game because this movie has a lot to do with the plot of the ending of season one going to season two especially the things that happen in this movie they're going to change the game for us people who come out with movies they're almost going to have to be geared toward the tv show so like anyone who hasn't seen the season one uh who hasn't seen all season one or if you've seen all season one you kind of have to wait to see this movie before whenever they release season two so then now this is going to be a spoiler free review um because again the movie is not out i actually got luckied up and got a copy a friend sent to me um but basically uh the movie starts off with the crew um tanjiro uh, nezuko zentro and um and nosuke uh they're basically getting aboarding the train because they're being assigned a mission to stop this uh, haunted train where um, 40 people have come up missing. And they actually team up with Rugen, one of the main kind of um, top agents, if you will, or top demon slayers uh, from the Demon Slayer Corporation is on the train to kind of help assist them with this. Um, while they're on the train, uh, things are going kind of okay, and then they all suddenly fall asleep when one of the 12 Kuzuki, if you guys can remember, uh, I think the one's name one is... Of the lower tw uh, one of the lower ranking uh, 12 of the Kuzuki is actually on the train, um, who basically is kind of possessing everyone in the train to kind of uh, become a demon. And and the crew and well the crew of Tanjiro and his friends and Rogan actually fall asleep, um, kind of get hypnotized to the spell, and they end up having these kind of elusive dreams and if they don't wake up soon that the this dream will kind of kill them and they will die in their sleep. Tanjiro kind of being the ongoing hero that he is breaks out of the dream to kind of rescue his friends in time so they can actually rescue the whole entire train and take down one of the 12 Kuzuki um, before everyone in the train uh, dies. But before the ending of the movie another villain comes and you're kind of embraced into a whole different situation. So that's just like kind of a brief synopsis that I'm going to give of the movie. Now, the thing that I will say about this movie, it was amazing. Like, uh, if you, the, 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 the villain I was talking about, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I messed up the villain's name. But if you guys remember from the last season one, uh, I think it was the, it's like the couple episodes when the main villain basically just started killing everybody and he left one of the main villains around. I mean, may have left one of the villains alive that, you know, everyone else was begging for their lives and just the villain said, just go ahead and kill me. And he's like, I like you. That was the villain that I'm talking about that basically was the main villain in this movie, the one that he kept alive. Now, the thing that I said was going to change the game about this movie is that a lot of things happen in this movie that are, that are going to... um affect into season two um like uh, a couple of people may die surprisingly in this movie that i was kind of surprised of like i'm not gonna tell you who dies i'm not gonna tell you what happens as far as that but that's why i'm saying it is gonna it's gonna affect season two 
Um, so that's why I'm saying I've never really seen a movie like this that has a story involved going into the seasons. So I, I'm obviously sure they did this purposely, but but most TV shows that do movies never have implications into the season. So this is like something totally like in a wholly different uh, genre of a ball game because now every movie that they do is kind of maybe going to have to coincide with the general uh, storyline of season two or season three or however long this series goes. Now, the one good thing about this movie is two things. It is now the highest grossing anime movie of all time with uh, $402 million worldwide. Um, and I think $327 million of that is just in Japan alone, um, which is amazing, especially during a pandemic. So just think how this movie would have done if there wasn't a pandemic, it probably would have been at a billion dollars now. You know, um, now, unfortunately, the movie doesn't really have a U.S. release date. Um, it's getting released in New Zealand, Australia, I think coming in the next couple weeks or so. Um, now, because of the pandemic, a lot of us do not know when we're going to see it in theaters. And also, Funimation is here, uh, based here, in, I think, in Texas. And so, the English dub version is going to be released here eventually we're just not sure when um i think they should just go ahead and release it online that way they can still get their money charge like 20 bucks i still really want to rewatch this movie with the english dub version just so i i know i won't miss anything it was a couple of things i think i kind of might have missed because the version that i saw it was a decent version it was kind of bootleg but it was i got to see everything um i could do this review for you guys so it wasn't the, the worst copy ever it was actually pretty good it just i would really love the english dub version of it um but this was well, this story was amazing and rugen uh i think rugen was the kind of the one of the top of the demon core he was in this and you just showed like th that was one good thing that i loved about this was that it, it showed the kind of power that the top Demon Core people kind of had because we remember at the end of season one we got to see all of them lined up when um when Tanjiro and Nezuko were kind of presenting themselves to them and and they thought Nezuko was a demon they gave her the chance to uh prove herself and all of them lined up and I was just like I want to know like you know how strong really are these people like you know since they're all lined up like they're ready for action and you know we've got to see of course two of them already um in the season in season one we got to see what they were working with but this one rugen was just i ain't gonna lie he was the truth like <laughs> man was everything in this like uh the battles that they had in this in this um anime movie was amazing and it just it was it was just such a beautiful story and action suspense drama just like everything we've learned and love and everything we've loved from the series they took to the movies and then magnified it times two like it was just bigger better badder you know the things we can it still was funny you know they still had that 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 dialogue between uh the characters of tanjiro nezuko uh and Yisuke. like everyone still had the, that quirky aspect of their personalities that we've kind of grown and loved grown to love with you know just in a bigger scale of a movie and like i said this this movie like everything came together in this movie like with the villains the storyline even though i can't tell you obviously what happens at the end like whenever this movie comes out again i will kind of maybe come back and do a round especially like i really want to see this again in english dub to make sure i really didn't miss anything but i, I got everything but i just want to watch it again in english dub i see why this is the highest grossing anime movie of all time first i thought it was just gonna be a lot of hype behind it i was like i was like it, this movie can be that good and as while i was watching i was just like damn this movie is fire like i was just like you know just when you think it couldn't get any better it did and the thing about this movie it was long it was like a two-hour movie it was like a real full-fledged movie like just when i thought the movie was over i'm like oh they still got another 20 30 minutes i'm like like oh i'm like oh well I'm like, oh, they've dispatched, they, they've dispatched with the bad guy, like, you know, or, you know, uh, or what happened, like, oh, the movie's over, and then you got a whole another 20 minutes left, I'm like, what happens, then something else happens in the movie, you're just like, well, I didn't see this one coming at all, so that's the thing I love about the movie, it just kind of gives you, keep giving more twists and turns, you know, in this kind of drawn out story, and just like I said, the ending has ramifications to season two, that are, it has, it has ramifications that are going to go into season two, big ramifications so Lamson, this is going to change the game for us anime movies because you know are they going to have to start obviously 
you know, everyone wants to follow the trend of how much money this movie has made in a pandemic. So if you can take this blueprint and maximize it to everyone else, no. Now every anime movie is not going to make four hundred million dollars. It's just it just doesn't happen like that. But if you can take a little bit of this movie and put it into yours and to make half of that, that's a win. So I I just want to know if, if a lot of people are going to start kind of taking this general sense of idea of taking what happens in the movie onto the season. So that just kind of brings up a, a whole different topic, which I would love to get into, but. Um, but if you guys like movie reviews, TV show reviews, sneaker reviews, think about subscribing to the channel. If you like what you saw, please give me a like. I would highly appreciate that. Um, and I would generally say drop some comments to see if you've seen this movie. But a lot of people have not seen this movie since it has not been released in the States yet. I am not for sure when this movie will be released, unfortunately. Um, but once you guys do see it, please drop those comments. Let me know what you guys think about this movie. Or please drop some comments. Let me know what you think about season one. Who's your favorite character? What's your favorite episode? Uh, drop those comments and let me know. Until next time, guys, Mr. Movie X is out. I will holler at you guys.